All right, so here's a lib, Liberty, and here's a Liberty owner. But you are a bus. Yes. So, after watching Chris Fix's video of... You are a bus. Installing a kill switch, we're putting one in both of our cars. So, we're doing one to an 04 Liberty, or Legacy, and one to an 88 R31 Skyline. Um, the Liberty's auto, Skyline's manual. Uh, so, Chris said that you need to wire it up to your fuel pump relay. Nissan Australia, or Geniuses, doesn't have one. So, the way we're going to do it is, here's the ignition coil, we're going to wire it up to this. Just tested it, it works. Um, there's a switch there, it's a toggle switch. Going to have to hide that somewhere, which is a secret. So... <sighs> Pretty much what it does for my car, it's going to cut spark, and with that spark your car don't go bang. Uh, with Seth's car, or Les's car, we're going to do it to his fuel pump, which is what I wanted to do, but tough tits. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it in an old Nissan, and we're going to have some fun. Set one, disconnect negative battery fuel. It's a 10 millimeter. So oh, this is fun. I hide that somewhere. Yay! Step two. Find somewhere, so like your uh, ignition coil. You're gonna want to cut through the um, like wrap thingo. Then you're gonna want to cut your two cables and splice in some wire, and then put it through to the interior. So in the next clip, that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so I've pulled back the insulation to the plug for the ignition coil, so what we're going to do is we're going to chop it probably there, and then we're going to splice in some more wire, and then we're going to run it through to the interior, find somewhere to put the kill switch, um, I'll probably just put it on the dash for the video purposes and then put it somewhere else once I'm done, because, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of putting it in if you guys know where it is. Or if anyone knows where it is. So yeah, we're going to give it a good old snip. So, go snip. And this is hard one-handed, but you get the point. And snip over there. Then I'm going to strip the wires back so I can join them. And then you'll see some more stuff. Alright, so this is a switch to the ignition coil. I just crimped on these two... Uh, crimpy long boys and uh focus was come on do it do focus all right well how about this let's pretend that it's focusing um so yeah nah yeah the little bit of a wiggle test they are nice and firm and crimpy boyd um if the copper wire like that is too long, such as that, um, pretty much just chop it until it fits in there. You don't want any wire showing in that clear part. Not that you can see because, you know, it wants to, sh you know, show how special it is. So, um, what I'm going to do next, same over here, and um, add some wire. Also, don't have to do this, but I like to twist it just so it's a bit tighter um, add some wire to it run it through to the interior and um, get to the toggle switch so yes all right so after a little bit of testing uh, the white with black strip wires they're both the same they don't actually need to be snipped you only have to snip the blue or possibly just one of them um, so again toggle switch so now we're going to run some of the red wire in from the plug through to the cabin, uh, join it to the switch, and then back to here, and then you can do your flicky boy to make your car do car stuff. So yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah. Um, also this appears to be like a heat shrink sort of thing, so just get your lighter onto it and shrink it down, add some tape to it, and it should be all good. Furthermore, this is Les. My name is Les. Okay, guy. Clip number 636. It's Liz. 
please. I just stabbed myself. <laughs> prevent, prevent, no, what is it? Parental admission is advice, is that Parental the word? Parental supervision. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, fucking nudity. Okay. Nudity. Ooh. <laughs> what is even going on here? What are you doing? I don't know, I'm just doing a stupid, it's going to go on the internet. What? <laughs> hear that internet? You're going on the internet. Yeah, no, boys. Um, so, as I said in the previous clip, these go back together. Les is going to go get his other car because he's getting some coilovers for the Libertus. Um, so, yeah, no, these two go in there. You can crimp them, but they'll get there eventually. Um, the wire's gone through the firewall into here. Oh, I should really get the some stuff to do stuff with. Uh, chuck that down there. Okay, guy. So now we're in the dart box. Pretty much just want to strip this and split it. So then we can go to the toggle switch. And um, hopefully the car starts and, you know, does stuff. Yay. Alright, so it's tested up. Just dummy tested. I uh, will be obviously doing it properly. So it's in off. It will be in a secret location. So... Also, connect your battery, it'll fucking get your places, you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, so, connected, hopefully off position works. That doesn't seem to be doing much, so we'll flick it to the on position. And it's on. So, yeah. That works, so now we tidy it up, and put it places. So, yeah, nah. All right, so I just moved the car. It's unregistered, so I can't really drive it on the road. But, um, yeah, it runs a bit rough when it's cold, but she's warmed up now. How accurate that is, I don't know. Fuel gauge doesn't really work. Anyway, so, kill switch is on. I will be tidying it all up. Just gonna let the car charge the battery for a little bit. The battery is shot. Um, little red light was on the battery, so thought I'd give the car a bit of an idle so it can charge. Um, once I get back, I'm gonna find somewhere safe to put the switch, and um, yeah, so let's just make sure it works. Flick off, and the car stalls out. Flick it on, car turns back on. So, yeah, that works well. Money well spent. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip once it's all finalised and tidied up. Um, yeah, I'll find someone to put the switch. It'll be all good. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to Chris Fix for a helpful video to uh, run by. And don't forget to subscribe for more R31 content. We'll figure out why the car likes to run like a dog.